Canto 11 The Full Vision of the Universal Divine Being Arjuna said The secret of spiritual secrets thou hast unveiled the occult and highest knowledge has been revealed by the compassion that thou hast upon me showered my delusion is lifted and I am by thy grace empowered I have heard about all the existences from their birth and also in detail of their progression to and after death. O lotus-eyed one, I have listened of the soul and its imperishable, all-pervading greatness as a whole. O Lord, as thou hast said about thy divinity, so art thou, I do understand with clarity. But O greatest supreme, I desire to see thy physical self and form, please display to me. If it is thy will, O Supreme God, I shall be able to see thee, my Lord, for it is only by thy divine grace that your almighty form I can witness or face. Shri Krishna spoke, O Arjuna, behold, for I will display to you my hundred thousand forms shall stand in your view. All divine in their multitudinous shapes, hues and kind, in all their dimensions that are otherwise beyond the mind. Observe, O Arjuna, the many forms of the Adityas, the Vasus, the Ashwini twins, the Maruts and the Rudras. None before on earth have ever thus witnessed these supramortal wonders none have experienced. Witness today, O Arjuna, the universe complete with all the mobile and immobile forms replete. Observe them to be united but yet a part of me and also glimpse everything else that you wish to see. By the mortal eye you cannot just see and bear the vision that will soon be. There is an inner eye which I shall now awaken within you so that a vision of my divine yoga you can behold and view. Sanjaya spoke. With these words, O King, the Lord of Yoga, Krishna, blessed Arjuna with his supreme form's revelation, the Darshana, the destroyer of all sins, the Godhead Divine, displayed to him all his infinite forms, resplendent and fine. The Godhead with the infinite eyes and faces, armed with weapons and warheads, divine at different places, displayed his innumerable forms, wondrous and dazzling, with countless divine jewels and ornaments gleaming. Garlanded with heavenly adornments and celestial scents and fragrant anointments, a surreal being stood before him with infinite mouths replete and a splendorous brilliance embellished the God complete. As if a thousand suns had together emerged and their brilliance had coalesced and merged, so was the Divine's glorious refulgence so overwhelming was the heavenly magnificence and Arjuna was struck with awe as in the very mortal envelope of Krishna he saw the vision of the God of God supreme the mighty creator of existences every reign seeing the Vishwarupam most magnificent and beautiful and also inconceivably terrible and powerful Trembling at the hair-raising and surreal vision, Arjuna prostrated, offering his full bodily submission. Arjuna then spoke, All the gods and divine beings I now see, emanating and expanding from within thee, seated in the cosmic lotus, Brahma is the epitome of grace. I also see the mystic sages and those of the divine serpent race. 
countless arms, stomachs, heads and eyes. I can see all, your infinite form, vaster than the skies. Neither a beginning nor an end to it can I conform. Oh, I behold once more the Lord of the Universe's universal form. With thy crowns, maces and discs of destruction, I witness thy opulence that pervades in every direction. Thy overwhelming iridescent luminance, oh so bright! Thou art like a brilliant blazing mass of fire and light. The highest immaculate truth that by man can be known, the foundation upon which our universe has grown, the indestructible guardian of righteousness eternal, I believe thou art the one celestial and supernal. Thou hast neither beginning nor middle nor end. The universe burns with the heat that thy fires send. Thy arms infinite and thy eyes are the sun and the moon and thy face appears to me like a blazing fiery cocoon. The heavens, the earth and all of space are but extensions of thy divine grace. By a vision of thy fiery form, only fear reigns amongst the skies, the earth and the nether plains. The groups of demigods are all entering thee, both adoring and afraid, I see. The liberated beings and sages, thy prayers sing hymns for the prosperity of every living thing. The Rudras, the Adityas, the Vasus and Sadhyas, the Ashwini Kumas, Vishwas, the Maruts and the Ushmapas, the Gandharvas, the Yakshas, the Asuras and the beings perfect. Transfixed on thy vision, only awe their eyes reflect. O magnificent Lord with many faces and eyes limitless, with strong arms, bellies and feet, each countless, Myself, all the nations and the worlds, find thy form terrible, with infinite teeth, thou striketh a fear unbearable. Blazing the heavens is thy burning manifestation, multi-hued, open mouthed with eyes in every dimension. Thy vision I am unable to grasp with joy or peace, for the panic within me does not seem to cease. I witness thy mouths with destructive tusks numerous. Thy faces are death and time, O oh, so fierce and enormous. O oh, Lord of Lords Supreme, a great despair overwhelms me. O oh, shelter of the worlds, may thy merciful grace upon me be. I see all of Dhritarashtra's children and the host of all the kings and the strongest of men. Bhishma, Drona and Karna, I see them too, and the prominent amongst warriors, proceeding in queue. Into thy dreaded mouth of fire they are receding, all of them overpowered and helplessly squirming. Between thy teeth I see their bleeding heads protruding, crushed and ground, by thy razor teeth and tusks horrifying. Just as the many rivers that turbulently gush and merge into the ocean, vast and overwhelming, so too do the heroes of the mortal plane rush into thy mouth, the ethereal inferno blazing. Like the moths that by nature's instinct dive into fires to become extinct, all the men too are rapidly proceeding to destruction, allured by default into thy fiery mouth suction. Thy many tongues lick all the ten directions, and thy flaming mouths devour all the world's nations. Thy terrible brilliance scorches thy infinite creations. O Vishnu, thy energies feed all manifestations. O greatest God, show thy compassion, I salute and appeal 
who art thou behind this terrible form please reveal before the beginning thou wert i wish to know to my ignorant mind the will of thy workings please show lord krishna spoke i am time harbinger of destruction of everything i am the colossal destroyer of all that is living even without you these warriors shall not live to the ranks of the opposing forces only death i shall give arise to the opulence of the conqueror that beckons and garner the glory that a victor reckons know that by me all are already slain so become my instrument let your arrows rain defeat all the warriors bhishma and drona and vanquish the heroes jayadratha and karna fight without being troubled or in pain no that by my hands alone they have been slain sanjay spoke on listening to the voice of krishna with folded hands stood a trembling arjuna bowing to the lord in obeisance he shuddered and in a faltering voice arjuna the following words he uttered arjuna declared of your name o krishna it is thus rightly perceived that by uttering it a joyous bliss across the world is achieved while the forces of evil in all directions flutter and flee all the awakened beings and sages adore thee with glee oh how can they not worship ye or offer their respects thou hast created the creator and all his mortal subjects oh infinite lord of gods in whom the universe resides over all that is and is not thy insuperable lordship presides thou art the purusha of the puranas the primeval lord the highest knowledge of the knower only thou dost accord the final abode for this world the end of destinations the universe is pervaded by thy infinite manifestations death moon the ethereal waters the wind and the fire deities thou art the creator of creators the father of all living entities again and again bowing in a thousand repetitions once more i bow offering yet again my salutations from the front and from the back i offer my salutations to ye in all the quadrants and all the directions thou art in all and in every living thing almighty and all pervading thou art everything assuming thee to be my mortal friend i spoke rudely even though i did not intend of thy greatness o krishna o yadava o beloved out of love or ignorance i was thoroughly deluded whatever disrespect to thee i may have shown out of jest or play either amongst companions or alone else while resting or eating o lord i did not know o faultless one thy forgiveness upon me please show o divine teacher the father of every single being thou art the highest worship capable to the living if in the three worlds equal to ye there is none superior to ye how can there exist any one hence to ye i perform a full body prostration and to thee i offer my surrender and submission thou art the father to the son the companion of a friend the beloved to the lover o lord thy mercy upon me extend what was never seen before i now saw but my mind trembles with both fear and awe o refuge of the universe shower thy compassionate grace thy earlier peaceful form let my vision embrace i crave to see the form my mind understands with thy crown mace 
and discus in hands o thousand armed universal form do unveil the divine four armed figure of thine please reveal lord krishna spoke o arjuna by my favor alone this form you can see my luminous form from which the world came to be my original self that mortal eyes before have never gazed this infinite universal form that you have witnessed and praised not by researching the vedas or by pouring sacrificial oblations neither by charity nor by performing right actions not even by the strictest of penances is it possible for man to see my perfect form apart from you no one else has or can seeing this tremendous form of mine you should not fret this ignorant state of panic you must starkly reject cast away your fear as i show you the milder form of mine behold and rejoice witnessing my other embodiment divine sanjay said after saying these words to arjuna the four armed manifestation was assumed by krishna then resuming his peaceful form full of love and grace the lord returned to console the fear struck face arjuna spoke seeing your four armed form coming to the fore an ecstatic delight overwhelms me once more oh so soothing this peaceful form of yours i find a silent sea of bliss now fills my mind lord krishna my four armed form that has been seen by you has been witnessed by only the rarest few for even the demigods wonder and desire to see this avatar forever they aspire the form that you saw cannot be seen neither by vedas nor by the penances strictest nor by sacrifices nor by charities to the poorest to see this form by all it has not possible been arjuna only by the purest devotion can it possible be as with a desireless love alone can one know me and truly see me in essence and element and in my consciousness be immersed and present o arjuna surrender to me perform my bidding become my devotee and an instrument of my working with an enmity towards none from desires become free accept me my way for such a man shall only come to me thus ended the 11th canto of the bhagavad gita where shri krishna blessed arjuna with the full vision of the universal divine being